Thank you so much for that beautiful introduction. I do appreciate uh, every one of you. And uh, we have amongst us here a gentleman. He is a doctorate degree holder from Harvard Business, business School uh, in the United States of America. He is a business uh, management consultant. Uh, at the same time, a goal getter. And he has done quite a lot in the United States. And uh, a hard working person and a goal getter. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce to you my one and only son. Bobby Akin Bright Jr. As you all know, I'm not getting younger, I'm getting older. And uh, the burden of running this company is really, really weighing me down and we have quite a lot of things that we are doing in this company. And uh, you know, some positions have been opening and uh, we need to fill them. And uh, I think uh, I really need somebody who I so much trusted and I have a strong belief in somebody who is a goal getter to take over as the CEO of this company uh, from me. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's my pleasure and uh, with all pleasantries, I introduce to you the new chief executive officer of this company in person of my son, Mr. Bobby Akinbright Jr. <laughs> I am pleased to meet you all. I want to say thank you for getting this company to where it is today. I believe together we can take this company to the next level. I am a die-hard proof producer. I give up. I give up, sorry, I don't give up easily. I believe solely in hard work. If you're hardworking, we'll be best of friends. But if not, then you better buckle up. In fact, Dad, I'm going to start kicking some people out of this company. From my little experience here, I see a lot of laxity. You can't sit here and just occupy space. Who the hell do you think you are? Matter? A word is enough for those without witty worship Thank you. I appreciate that, Dad. Josie. Ah, uh, what's up? I can't believe you abandoned your holy sister in school. Baby girl, it's not like that. Work. Have you heard from John? Our brother is a busy doctor. What about mom and dad? They are all fine. Look, I have a problem. Okay. I'm facing a terrible challenge in school. A lecturer is trying to get down on me. He's been threatening and persuading me. A lot of my colleagues, they are sleeping with lecturers and living with Wadley. Yet, 
they are doing fine. I feel like giving him to the lecturer's demand. Jen, listen to me carefully. You are different from your colleagues. You are a child of God, a princess. Look, devil wants to do everything to thwart your destiny. But please, don't give in to the pressures of school. Hmm? Do you hear me? I'm trying. Baby, you need to try more. Listen, if that useless lecturer disturb you again, remember the reply I taught you to give such a person. Do you remember? No. Okay, tell them that they can tear your answer script, but they cannot tear your body because it is the temple of God. Do you hear me? Thank you so much, big sis. The Lord will help me. Amen. I'll be praying for you. Please do. It's okay, my dear. Take care. Bye. Or bye bye. Okay. <coughs> what? I'm not here to toast you. So? You see, Josephine, the boss wants to see you. The boss? Which of the boss? Uh, Bobby. You see, if the boss tries to toast you, just give him the reply I taught you to give people like him. Well, some of you are doing averagely well, but to some of you, well, I don't know. And um, before I dismiss this class, make sure you submit your assignment first thing tomorrow, right? Yes, sir. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Right. I know those who will be graduating with honors. But to some of you, I don't know. Yeah, well, I'm not having a cup of tea. Good day. I'm sorry, Josephine. I like you. Excuse me. I'm sorry if I came out harsh. I am poorly cultured. My father did a bad job raising me up. But I'll try my best to be as diplomatic as possible. Josephine. Sir? I like you. Well, I thank you, sir. What do you expect me to say, sir? Nothing. I expect you to just keep quiet and listen carefully to my every word. Ever since I resumed here, ladies have been all over me. But I paid no attention to all of them because they're not my type. But the moment I set my eyes on you, I knew you were the chosen one. Josephine, I like you. I don't know what to say, sir. 
I understand. I, I need to think. Yes, think about it. Also think about having your salary increased by 500% starting from this month. And also $1,000 per night should you consider my offer. What offer? me to be mistress. And that also attracts $1,000 per night and 500% increments in my salary starting from this month. Mistress, that's so weird. But $1,000 US dollars. Baby, that's a lot of money. So what's the problem? Mistress, per night? Ha ha. So soon? By the way, where did you start all this rubbish? It was last week. But what amazed me is that anytime I get to his office, I'm telling you, I always lose every confidence and I feel timid before him. His words always eat me like stones. So what's your take on him? Actually, Bobby Akin Bright Jr. He's a charming personality. Mm -hmm. He's handsome, well built, he's brilliant, hard working, and powerfully connected. Mm -hmm. He fits into my model of ideal husband. Mm -hmm. I think I like it. Huh. Huh. Just think there. Say you love something now. Eh? Yeah. You can't do it. This is the deception of the devil. Remember you are a committed Christian and a role model for the youth. God is a forgiving God. He will forgive us whenever we sin. What? Choose oh, This is time to show how strong your faith is. This is temptation. And if it grows worse, you might have to quit your job to salvage your soul. But I can't continue staying here. This is my auntie's place. And when she comes back from overseas, where do I go? Remember we are talking about an unbeliever here. My only concern is, you could contract STD, STI, or even get pregnant. Huh. We agreed on using protection and contraceptives. <laughs> you agreed? You already agreed? You already been overtaken by lost Josephine. Actually, it was the one that said we will always use condoms and pills to protect unwanted pregnancy and diseases. Good! Then you're secure. Just remember me. Babe, remember me when the dollars start rolling in. You know what I'm talking about now. Eh? I beg. Choose who. This is workplace prostitution. It is wickedness against God. It is nothing but immorality. Remember the story of Joseph and Potiphar's wife. More so, all sexually immoral will not enter the kingdom of God. This is sin against your body. You are not of your own. You have already been bought with a price, the precious blood of Jesus Christ. But Mary, I'm confused. But well, Mary, I have to go now. Just think, Derry, please follow your heart. In that way, you'll be solely responsible for your actions, you know? Right now, I have to leave. I'm out. I... Josephine. Confused? Oh my God. You are a child of God. God is not a lot of confusion. There is a way that cement right to a man, but the end thereof is destruction. Can we pray? Okay. Lord Jesus, we pray that you always... Hello? Charles, you kept me waiting since. I've been waiting for you since. You mean what? The office at this time. And you tell me to wait? I knew it. 
I knew it. Those ladies in your office, they are, they are the ones distracting you. Me? No, 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 no. Don't bribe me with that hatred. I've been to better hatreds, you know. Should I take that as an apology? Please, please, I don't want that. I don't want that. I have better guys waiting for me. If you need my attention, you call me. Bye. Uh-uh. Hello? JJ. Mark, you again? You don't give up. Oh, come on. You see, classy guys like Mark never give up on pretty ladies like Jane. Um, you know, I told you earlier today that um, I wanted to see you and I hope you can spare me some minutes now. I can see, I'm reading. So you can see whatever you want to see. You see, Jane, you're an angel. Your beauty, your, your, your beauty captivates me. You're such a rare beauty. You're unique and you're brilliant. Do you know what, Jane? I love you. And I want you to be mine. Could you please just give me a chance? Please. Hello? Yes, baby. What makes you start saying that you love me as you claim? Love is a feeling. It's an attraction. You're beautiful and brilliant. And as such, you deserve a brilliant and classy guy like Mark, you know, to, to, to show you as much love and care. You turn me on, baby. The mere mention of your name brightens my day. Your aura engulfs me anytime I close my eyes. Baby, I am certain of my love for you. Because I see you in my dreams, baby. Wow. In your dreams? Yes, baby, yes. I see you hug me and kiss me. Jane, do you also dream of me? Do you love me too? No, I had never dreamt of you. Jane, are you saying you don't love me? You are yet to reciprocate the love of someone that loves you unconditionally. Mark, you can't give what you don't have. Jesus loves you so much than anyone else. His love is limitless and transcends into eternity. If you can embrace Jesus today, he will save and deliver you from your immoral thoughts. By the way, am I the only girl you dream of? What about Cynthia and Beckley? Surprised? You don't love them again. Mark, you can't continue like this. Jane. Now, what of all my, 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 my friends who boast of many girlfriends and all? I can't be the only odd, odd, odd man out now. There's a way that seems right unto a man. But the hand thereof is destruction. And you know also that the journey of a thousand miles begins with a stop. It is not about now and your friends. It is about you and your future. If you don't know what you are living for, you will die for anything. Mark, in simple terms, you are lost in her family. And lost passion leads to destruction. You have to deal with it before it lands you into trouble. I need to go now. Okay, okay, Jane. So, what do I do now? I have made up my mind to live for God by the help of the Holy Spirit 
no matter what others are doing, I implore you to do the same. Repent and turn from your wicked ways and ask Jesus to save you. Jane! Ah. As lovely creatures of God, we must protect our uniqueness and our dignity. Our beauty is God's gift and must be treated accordingly. In this group, our choice is abstinence. Every other choice has side effects. It is only abstinence that pays all the time. Say after me, abstinence pays all the time. All the time. Guys, we want to switch on us in order to take advantage of us. But we must not listen to their lies. Because when they take what they want, they drop us for other catch. Oh, Bingo, you want to say something? Please go ahead. Actually, it is increasingly difficult to stay chaste in this current dispensation. Abnormality is not perceived to be normal. Our lifeline is in Psalm 119 verse 9, which says, How can a young man cleanse his way by taking it dear to according to the word of God? That's a very good point. Therefore, we must continually hide God's words in our heart so that we don't commit sin against God. Because we are the temple of God and as such must not mess up God's temple. My mother taught me something. She said, whenever anybody starts stroking my hands, drawing me closer to himself, and start touching sensitive parts of my body, like my neck, my cheek, or my breast, or my buttocks, or my thighs, that such a person is up to something, and from such person I must flee. Okay, I want three people to give us three acts each that is capable of ruining our lives if we engage in them as youths. She says caressing nudity. Thank you. Okay, Yuma. Smooching. Obscenity and indecent dressing. Good. <coughs> Pornography, hand, primary heart sex. Good. Therefore, we must not engage in them. In summary, live a pure life. And always remember, virginity is not old fashioned. It is honorable in the sight of God. We must keep our resolve to stay chaste, flee youthful lust, and don't compromise under any condition. I pray that the Lord will strengthen our resolve to stay chaste always in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Please let us rise up and take our family song. We are men of the Father. We are joint heirs. We are sons. We are children of the kingdom. We are family. family. We are one. Blessed and encouraged. To God be the glory. That's the work of the Holy Spirit. Mm. Holy Spirit. Then ponder on the message of today. Practice what you preach, especially when people like Bobby ask you out again. Bobby, there is no way for Bobby in my life. Amen. <laughs> amen. And amen in Jesus' name. Hmm. Let he that think it is not take heed. Lest he falls. 
Stand for what you preach, Josephine. But 500% increase is great. And $1,000 per night? Wow. That is really, really a big money. Josephine, this is workplace prostitution. It is wickedness against God. It is nothing but immorality. Remember the story of Joseph and Potiphar's wife? More so, all sexually immoral will not enter the kingdom of God. This is sin against your body, against your body. Maybe it's just over spiritualizing matters. But I have to go now. Just feel there, please follow your heart. In that way, you'll be solely responsible for your actions, you know? Yeah. What an opportunity. $1,000. Wow. In six months. All my financial crisis will be resolved. That's the work of the Spirit. Hmm. Holy Spirit. Then ponder on the message of today. Practice what you preach, especially when people like Bobby ask you out again. Bobby? There's no way for Bobby in my life. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and amen in Jesus' name. Hmm. Let he that take his stand. Take heed. Lest he falls. Josie, baby. Um, Hello, my baby. How are you? Oh, so, what's going on? You look so hot. Ah, ah. This mommy now, tell me. But Josie, I just thank God for your life. Hmm, Josie. Never allow your beauty to master you. You see, the devil, your adversary, is roaming about looking for whom to devour. So, hold fast that which you have. Lest another man take your crown. Yeah. Yeah. And if sinners will entice you from the right path, don't go with them. I love you, baby. I love all of you. If you continue like this, I mean the way you love the Lord, you are going to be a great instrument in the hand of God. Huh? <laughs> my baby. Oh, I love you, my baby. Thank you, mommy. So, what do you want to take? The usual. Mm -hmm. Amala. Amala. Yes, <laughs> okay. ah, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. For these children. So, I've discharged the patient. Once the relatives come, they can go with that, okay? What about the other patients? Uh, all right, thank Hello, my close yet distant sister. Big brother. I should give you a punch for that. How are you this morning? How are you? I'm fine. Josephine, I'd like to see you today. What's the schedule like? Mm, tight. But I can branch at your place while returning from the office today. No, no, no. That'll be too late. I'm built to be in Abuja this evening for a pre-conference briefing. Can we make use of your lunch hour? That's between 1 and 2 p.m. Okay, yeah. Mm, let's do it this way. I'll call you when I'm ready, okay? Okay. All right. Love you. Mm, love you too.
Hello, sir. Hello, Josephine. Good morning. You are just one lucky babe. Sir? Have you considered my proposal yet? I'm saying no to your proposal, sir. Uh, I know you will say yes. By the time you hear this top management secret. <laughs> Mr. Henry will be relieved of his duty this morning. What? It's a great asset to the company, sir. And we can't afford to lose him now. Yes, we know. But the company has found a greater asset. And that is? Who, sir? You. Sir. You are now the special advisor to the CEO. You know what that means? Wherever I go, you go. Local and international conferences and all other related meetings. <laughs> this is a juicy opportunity. You will get the details later. After 15 years of unalloyed loyalty to this company, hmm. I don't even know my offense. The CEO just terminated my appointment without any form of uh, gratitude for all these years. How? Hmm. Why? All I got was just 50% of my total gratuity in three months. Oh my God. Lord have mercy. Just me. In few years of knowing you, you've inspired me greatly. You showed me the way to the cross. And uh, honestly, I can tell you that Jesus Christ is sweet. Sir, this is the word of the Lord for you today. That all things work together for my good. Oh, I mean to say for your good, sir. All will be well in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hmm. That reminds me what my offense could have uh, probably be. I tried witnessing to him. I asked him a question. At what shall it profit a man? He regains the whole world and loses his soul. That shouldn't be the reason. But just when you might probably be the one that will take my place. Leave it to this promotional transfer of uh, the senior management staff to branches abroad. Oh my God, me? No, I don't think so, sir. Really? Yeah. In fact, that was the reason why I had to call you urgently this morning. Okay. My chief medical director nominated me yesterday, among some other doctors, to attend the next World Health Organization conference holding in Australia next. Wow! You're now a big boy. <laughs> in fact, I am billed to be in Abuja this evening for a pre-conference briefing. So really? as I talk to you, I'm talking to an Australian. <laughs> Big brother, congrats. Thank you. I really rejoice with you. Thank you, my But at the same time, 
I envy you. Don't, don't, don't. Yours is coming soon, I prophesy. Amen, amen. Yeah, now to more serious issues. Just for How are your secular work and your spiritual work? Fine. Is anything the matter? You, you sound worried. Yeah. I had a revelation about you. In that revelation, I saw you clothed in a white, shining garment. Very beautiful. You were all radiant, all glorious, covered with the glory of God. As you walked along, suddenly a young man appeared, carrying a jar of red oil. And he requested permission from you to pour just a little on your white garment. To my surprise, I expected you to reject abruptly and vehemently, but you were silent and indecisive. Josephine, does that make any meaning to you? Not really. Do you have any interpretation? Hmm. Yeah, I prayed about it. And the Lord instructed me to ask you some questions. Questions? Okay. One. Are you contemplating any deliberate sin against the Lord? No. Two. Are you in any dilemma of any sort? No. <laughs> Three. Are you at any crossroads right now? No. Four. Josephine. What price will be too high for you to pay to keep your salvation? Hear ye the word of the Lord unto you, Josephine. O Josephine, daughter of Zion, God cannot be mocked. Whatsoever a man sows, that shall he also reap. I know your works, that you have a reputation for being alive, yet you are dead. Wake up! Strengthen that which remains. For even that little that remains is ready to die. I know that you do not meet my requirements. Hold on to that which you heard and believed at the first. Repent and come back to me. If you don't repent, I will come upon you suddenly like a thief in the night. I am coming soon. Hold on to that which you have. That no one take your crown away from you, says the Spirit of the Lord to you, Josephine. If the struggles, struggles, you were thought to fulfill for hopes and for that by God to be called up for more now. Oh, it's a struggle. Why am I doing this to myself? Why is it difficult to stand right? Hold on to that which you heard and believed at the first. Repent and come back to me. If you don't repent, I will come upon you suddenly like a thief in the night. I am coming soon. Hold on to that which you have, that no one take your crown away from you, says the Spirit of the Lord. To you, Josephine. To you, Josephine. To you, Josephine. Hmm. I have grieved for this promotion all these years. Here comes promotion with juicy attachments for scary times and conditions. Hmm. But the blessing of God makes rich and hurts no sorrow. 
I will reject this promotion. I cannot afford to lose my virginity, my dignity, and my pride to an unbeliever. No, I will go to him tomorrow and tell him my decision. I cannot do it. Hello, Evelyn. Hi, good morning. Is the boss around? No. Poor people, she doesn't come early on Mondays. This is 11 a.m. and he's not around. <clears throat> this is 11 a.m. And the boss is yours. Again. Yes, please. Can you please dial the uh, chairman's residence? Sir, what? Can you please dial the chairman's residence? Okay. Hello? Hello, Vera. How are you? Can I speak to Oga? Hey, Auntie Josephine. Oh, Oga is not around, though. We need him to attend to some foreign clients that are already on their way to our office. I've got their business meeting now. Business meeting? Business meeting with who? I don't even know because I def I don't on my way to market now. I would like to see you soon. I would love to see you too. Should we make it tonight? No, sir. What I have to say is... You are yet to reply my proposal. Um, actually, sir, I am a child of... Okay. This is your wardrobe allowance for this quarter as a CSA to the CEO. Two hundred and fifty thousand naira, sir. And also, this is a key to a two thousand and thirteen prodigy. Park me parking lot. Likewise, these are the keys to your official apartment. 
a three bedroom all in suit duplex. Congratulations. I am. Um, I don't want. To. Yes. I know you are surprised. All these were approved yesterday at the board meeting. And I facilitated it. Now, this calls for celebration. Why don't we make it at Lavina de Longe 7 p.m.? Well, probably. I don't feel so. Josephine. Should I expect you to I don't know, sir. I'll see you there. You're beautiful. You must have been carefully created. A friend told me that ladies created on a Sunday are exceptionally beautiful because they were not made in a hall. The creator took time to perfect you from head to toe. You are a ravishing beauty. Babe. Josephine, come on, what's in your mind? I mean, we are here to enjoy ourselves to the fullest. So no worries, okay? Okay, sir. Oh, no, 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 no. On a special outing such as this, sirs are not allowed. You can call me Bobby or any other pet name such as you like. I call you sweetheart. You call me honey. You sweeten my heart and I had only into your life. Is that taken? Okay, sir. I mean, yes, honey. All right. That's my sweetheart. Now, why don't you just take your soup? Come on. Go ahead. Come All right. Almost there. Almost there. Come on. Good. Oh, that's my girl. That's my girl. for your pains. Mm. But it's normal for first timers. The more you do it, the more you enjoy it. <laughs> Look, Josephine, I will surely compensate you for this. Oh, 
Hello, dear Swain. How are you today? Okay. Um, have you checked your mail this afternoon? All right. I instructed my account manager to credit your dorm account with $2,500. And um, a few minutes ago, he gave me feedback that your account has been credited. $2,500, sir? Yes. Wow. $2,500. The $1,500 is to compensate you for being a virgin up until yesterday. I was so overwhelmed with joy that you gave it to me. Is that all you want to say, sir? Uh, not so fast, Josephine. Um, in a fortnight, you'll be traveling out with me to Singapore to attend an international conference of business executives. You mean I'm traveling out? Yes. And as my CSA, you'll be flying first class with me. Give me that warm embrace that I deserve. Whatever. Enjoy the rest of the day. Antonia, my baby. Yes. I've promised you that I'm going to take you around the world. Mm -hmm. Trust me. Trust me. Okay. Yeah. And, um, I mean it. Believe me, I have every of my promises for you. Oh, yeah. I fulfill. Okay. Trust me. Oh, wow. Um, come in, come in. Ah, Jane, Jane. Um, Antonia. Yes, sir. Excuse me. Ah, uh, you come back for the something tomorrow, okay? Yes, sir. You have to listen. Oh, Jane, Jane, sit down. Thank you, sir. Um, What's your decision regarding our last discussion? Sir, I have told you. I can't sleep with you, sir. <laughs> okay. This is the result of your last sociology paper. You got an impressive grade in this course. As a matter of fact, you are the highest in the department and the only person who got an A. What an excellent result. <laughs> Good job. Thank you, sir. Uh, but where are your papers? They are in your hands, sir. So, where are your papers now? I can't find them. Your papers are missing. I know what that means. Carry over. An extra year. Why did you do this? 
Why did you see my papers? See your papers? That is between you and I. Officially, your papers are missing. And you know what to do to find them. But I can't sleep with you. Then I will continue to tear your papers till you succumb to my demand. Lisa, don't do this to me. <laughs> you can tear my paper, but you cannot tear my body because it is the temple of God. I'd rather hurry your papers. Then go to hell. Then go to hell. Now listen. What is so special about this? Huh? What do you think you who do you think you are anyway? This is a normal thing that your people, your your, your colleagues do. It's a normal phenomenon. Why are you turning into a big deal? Who do you think you are anyway? You are nothing! You are you are not even beautiful. You are just an ordinary girl. Good day. I'm not an ordinary person. I'm from a royal family. I am a princess. Beautiful and wonderfully made. I'm a triumphant child of the Most High. So, I give you two days to produce my papers. Or else, you will not undo the consequences that will fall on you and your family. Hello, good afternoon. Is this Miss Josephine Hoffes? Yes, please. How may I help you? I'm my younger sister. I would like to speak with her. Oh, she's not around. She traveled. What? She went to Singapore. Where will she be back? Next week. <sighs> Thank you. Hello, Brad John. I'm fine. Are you around? I really need you to join your faith with mine. Okay. I'm coming right away. Thank you. country is really hot. I wish I stayed back in Singapore. Seriously? Like you were never here before? Now that I've been to a better place, I know the difference. <laughs> anyway, how is Singapore? It's nice. How is the fellowship? How are the ladies doing? The ladies are doing fine. Fellowship is going on well. But we really miss your preaching. We can't wait for you to come and pick up. Yes, um, that aside, I bought so many beautiful things from Singapore. Really? Yeah, and there's one particular gown I bought for you. I know you will like it. Wow, I can't wait for it to unpack. That's okay. Um, I, um, I really miss you. Dude. I miss you, baby. Singaporean. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. This is my favorite. Wow, this is beautiful. Thank you. I'm very big. <laughs> wow, this place is beautiful. Thank you. Family and mom. Good. Good. Ah. Good. Girl, how was your Singapore experience? Splendid. In fact, it's the best. Yeah. I'm really happy for you. Thank you. God has now blessed you. Hmm. You now have a befitting apartment, an official car, 
salary increase, promotion. And now, overseas trip. I'm really happy for you, girl. Thank you. Let me show you some of the pictures I shot. I met several people from all walks of life. Young, brilliant chaps from all over the world. Mary, it was awesome. And my boss, he was so proud of me before all his friends. And he praised me publicly for all my inputs in the company before and after his arrival. Oh, the three was overwhelming. He was all over me. He was all over you. Yeah. We were lodged in a five-star hotel. It was one of the best in the country. And my boss, he gave me so much money for shopping. I shopped and shopped and shopped till I was tired. As I'm talking to you, I have a domiciliary account. And it's fat with foreign currency because I save most of the money he gives me. Wow. I'm really happy for you, my dear. And how about your boss? It's fine. Hope he's not bothering you again. Not at all. We now flow along very well. How do you mean? Look, don't worry yourself. It's not my trouble anymore. How did you handle him? Is he not born again? Everything has sorted itself out. Josephine, Josephine, we are best of friends. Under God, we have both promised to be open to one another. I have never hidden anything from you. On this issue, I demand full explanation. There's nothing to worry about, really. Nothing. Josephine, you said your boss was all over you. What does that mean? Look, it was not as if I enjoyed it. It just happened. It just happened, Mary. That's all I can say. Nothing just happens without your consent, Josephine. Nothing. And why are you shouting? Because you are sacrificing your destiny for mere riches that can never last. You have traded your divine destiny and dignity for momentary pleasures. Please tell me, how is your business? Is it not my life? It is not your own. It is God's own. Please stop. Josephine, help me. I can't believe this. Because of a thousand dollar per night. Ah, where did you leave God? Josephine, you grew weary while well doing. And you failed in the door of Ah! Josephine! <laughs> Just me. Can a man walk on hot coals without his feet being scorched? Mary, get out! <laughs> oh, you can tell me to get out, but please let Jesus come in before it's too late. Go! Please. Go! <laughs> <laughs> Much. Bobby, do you want to kill yourself over that in your cheek? You are the dawn, Bobby. You are the dawn. Rock. 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 Bobby, what? I, Bobby. I use ladies and dawn them. None of them have ever dared to dawn me. And that's exactly what I'm saying, Bobby. <sighs> you are the dawn. Just when he's just, just messing up with your life for, for the past two weeks. Forget about this, babe, dawn. Oh, what do you want to do? Rock, I don't know. I just don't know. Anyways, I, I have an idea if you don't mind. And it's a good one. Yes, it's a good one. Let me tell you.
that's the solution though to handle all the problems you'll be fine again Bothered about social media for one. You don't have to be bothered. I have to just stop thinking like that. Don't Papi. always talk like that. I hope I will not carry this course you over. Can't, you can't. You can't. Please, last semester. You won't. Don't bother. That lecturer. Hello? Hi, yeah. Relax, okay? Just relax. Okay. Just relax. Okay. Relax. Just relax. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Guess what? What? Sociology 401's result is out. You said why? Calm down. They said 15 people had the Hey, I'm not. I hope I'm, I'm not part of it. They said um, only one person had an A. Hey. Let's go and check. I don't want to go. Ah, Does it make any difference? Let's go. Let's go. It doesn't matter. stays in the office. Hello, Jocelyn. Hey. Sorry I called you up this late. There is a file in this uh, flash drive. I need you to access it and um, work on it. And let me have it first thing tomorrow morning. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Sweetheart. Sweetheart, I love you. I can't sleep without you. I love you. Please, come back. I'm not in for this again. But you can quit on me. Why not? Not at this time. Did I offend you? No. I am no longer interested in this immoral relationship anymore. Sweetheart, I brought you a small gift just for tonight. It's $3,000. I know you deserve more than this, but please manage it. Sweetheart, I love you. Sweetheart, please. I love you. I'm already considering marrying you. What? Did I hear you well? Yes. I promise. Now I know you hate me, Josie. I know you hate me. Bobby, do you really love me? Yes, I do. Sure. I love you, sweetheart. 
Allah is so much. With the whole of my heart. So, I think we need to celebrate and you found love. Yes. Won't you offer me something? What would you like to take? Anything for a fresh start. Okay. One minute. So sweet of Yes, we need to toast to a fresh start. To our new love. To our new love. I'm sorry. It's okay, Excuse sweet. Me. It's all right. Whatever you need, just name it. And when you're ready to have it. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you sure you're okay, sweetheart? Yes, I'm you sure. sure? Yeah. Okay. Now, you need to tell me what you want me to buy you and when. Are you with me? Are you with me? No, no, no. Honey, sit out. Okay. Come on. Come on. Pick up. Rock, pick up. Rock, rock. It's done. Come on. Yeah, it's done.
What? Mark, my God, what happened to you? Jay, I was involved in that. Jesus! It was. It was terrible. Jesus. I'm the only survivor. Every other person. My God. Died. Jesus. Mark, you see what I've been telling you? That you should give your life to Jesus. If you had died, you would have probably gone to hell. You see the, the need for you to give your heart to Jesus. Mark, you need to give your heart to Jesus before it is too late. You didn't plan for this. Who knows what will happen? Would you like to give your life to Jesus right now? Yes. I think it's high time I did. Thank you, Jesus. Can I pray with you? Can I pray with you? Say this after me. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I accept you today. I accept you today. As my Lord. As my Lord. And Savior. And Savior. Forgive me. Forgive me. Of all my sins. Of all my sins. And write my name in the book of life. I write my name in the book of life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For saving me. For saving me. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have We'll check on you later. Mommy, what? Dr. Bernard? Yes. It's a pleasure. Thank uh, you. Lisa, what were you trying to tell me on the phone about my sister? I didn't quite get you well. And she was rushed there by some friends. And thank God she, they were there because she was close to death. My God. Ah. Well, um, we have a serious case in our hands. But, but what actually happened? Have you been able to... I cannot say categorically, but look at this. From the test run on her, it's more like a case of forceful assault. Sexual assault. As you can see from the test, we found a trace of onitrazepam. In a blood sample. Onitrazepam. Jesus. Unfortunately, it was an overdose. She was completely knocked out. Sexually battered. Marie. Say. Friend Trasima. Doctor, who did this to my sister? Mm. Well, the culprit fortunately forgot his wallet. Good. And uh, the case was transferred to the police. Good. Good. All right, can, can I see her now? Uh, no, no, no. Um, she's in the emergency room. And we're trying our best to resuscitate her. She's in the emergency ah. room. John, what's wrong with Josie? What's going on? It's a bit complicated. I, no, no, no. I just want you to know that God is in control. And he's going to take care of everything for us. It's all right, Jane. It's all right. 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 Ah. 
Sometimes ago, I chose a boy for a glorious assignment in a foreign land. I was, however, overwhelmed when he finally became the Prime Minister and fulfilled the purpose for which I chose him. And that's my boy, Joseph. The same way. I chose a girl for a similar assignment. But it saddened my heart when she rather chose to settle for less. And that's you, Josephine. My plan for you we were meant to meet your husband today. You would have been selected as a youth ambassador to Singapore. We were meant to give birth to three prominent children. But where is the womb to carry them? I didn't commit any abortion. How come? I am not even pregnant. <laughs> you were six weeks pregnant. Yeah. But due to the assault on you, you have suffered a miscarriage, which has left your womb severely damaged. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> Just me. What is the gain of my investment on you? Because I have called, but you refused. I have stretched out my hand, and no man regarded, for you have set at naught all my counsel and with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear comes. When your fear comes as desolation and your destruction as whirlwind, <laughs> when distress and anger come upon you, then shall you call upon me. But I will not answer. You ignored my counsel. You despise my reproof. Therefore, shall you eat the fruit of your own way and be filled with your own devices? For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of the fools shall destroy them. It's coming around. <laughs> 
Just win. Praise God. <laughs> it's alright, baby. It's alright. <laughs> I have seen the unfolding shots of the glory of God. <laughs> it's alright, baby. It's alright. It's alright. Don't cry again. God is merciful. If you confess your sin, He's faithful and just to forgive you. Please don't cry again. Oh. <laughs> oh. I have pity more than I can chew. Oh. Can I be forgiven? <laughs> I can only be saved by grace alone. It's alright, baby. It's alright. Oh, no, it's alright, baby. It's alright. <laughs> What? Wait. Police? It's okay. Thanks, mom. Thanks. Police, is everybody right? You are under arrest. Please carry it. You are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do might be used against you in the court of law. I need to call my lawyer. Mr. Bobby Bright. Shall we please? Okay. If that's the way you boys would. I thank Lord Jehovah God, because you say in everything we should give thanks. Oh, Master of the Universe, I thank you, Lord God, oh, Lord God, for John. I thank you, Lord God, for Josephine. I thank you for Jane. Lord God of all situation, I'm praying for Josephine, oh God. Your word says, whosoever the Son shall set free, shall be free indeed, Lord God. Set my daughter free. Set her free, oh God, I beg you. You said in your word, in the book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 7 and verses 13 and 14, he said, If I shut up heaven that there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence amongst my people, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, he said, I'm torn from their wicked ways, so then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin. I will heal their land. Lord, forgive my sister Josephine, Lord, and heal her land, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, forgive her, Lord, and heal her land, Lord. You said, Lord, in your word, you said you will have mercy and we will have mercy. And show compassion to whom you will show compassion. Lord, show mercy to my sister, Lord. Have compassion upon her, Lord. Let your word heal my daughter. Himself took my infirmities and take away all my diseases. Heal her infirmities, oh God. I beg you. I beg you, Lord. Have mercy on me, Lord God. Don't let me be put to shame. I beg you. We need your intervention now, oh God!
for other foundation can no man lay than that that is already laid, which is Jesus Christ. Every man's work shall be made manifest and tested with fire. If it is burnt, then he shall suffer loss. But he himself will be saved. For you have been brutally wounded, but for my mercy, I have come to take you home. Sorry, I disappointed you. No, 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 don't worry. Don't worry, my dear. Swear. Thank you, Jesus. Ah. Thank you for staying by me. Mm -hmm. Ah, Joseph. How are you? Sweet James. I'm glad I'm a member of this family. Thank you all for staying by me. Um, everything is beautiful. Please do everything to make everything. Please. All the glory must be to the Lord. For He is worthy of our praise. No man on earth can Just me. Bring her back. Thank God she realized her mistakes and I mended her ways. That the Lord gave us joy. That it will also make heaven. 
Yeah. 